What's in this huge case? Am I carrying a bomb? Am I transporting plutonium? This right here is the Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum revolver. I'm going to do the slow, dramatic turns so you can see its beautiful curves and luster. No, I don't sleep with it by my bed and cradle it and caress it. Just at the range. You're looking at the most powerful production handgun in the world right now. Production, I mean, okay? If you don't know what that means, look it up. I know there's going to be a lot of people out there, No, it's not! There's this Nitro Express! No, it's not a production model. The 60 calibers aren't production models. Comes with the Black Hogue rubber grip. Adjustable rear sight for windage and elevation. I like the red high-vis fiber optic sight interchangeable compensator which helps tame it noticeably I wouldn't want to fire this without it having ports the high vis red optic sight really helps with target acquisition this has the 8 and 3 8 inch barrel satins stainless steel it's five round capacity Firing this, I was a little hesitant on what it would be like at first. I was expecting the gun to whip up and hit me in the head. It's not as bad as you think, especially with the ports. You want to have a nice firm-like handshake, two-handed grip on it. I've seen 700 grain bullets from uh, Ballistic Supply for these. I mainly use 400 grain. The muzzle energy can be up to 2,600 foot-pounds with one of these 500 magnums. Even the lightest load is about twice the power of a 44 magnum. The heavier loads, three times the power or so, the 44 magnum. You can take this pretty much anywhere for knockdown power. This I'll bring to the rifle area on the range also, hitting 100 yard targets. And just like with the other Smith & Wessons, top screw you adjust clockwise or counterclockwise for elevation and the side for your windage left and right it's really a beast I know it's probably not too practical especially being a carry weapon or anything it's a lot of fun though you know set up a few watermelons for the day have some fun with your friends just fuck around like that these have a wide price range I've seen them vary 850 to 1200 I got this after tax for around a grand Corbon was the contractor to create the 500 magnum round they make excellent rounds pricey I'll use Super X 400 grain or Magtech those are a little bit more reasonable there is a lock screw in the front right here that you can undo to change your compensator they give you a little tool for that at first it might feel a little heavy on the front end I actually like it like that because when I'm firing it it ends up helping like all ho grips extremely comfortable absorb shock excellent I pity the guy who would try to fire this with wood grips and without a compensator has more energy more powerful than the 480 Ruger 454 because it will like I said, factory loads can carry up to 2,600 foot-pounds of energy firing between, on average, 1,400 and 1,800 feet per second. So if you pretty much want to knock down anything in your path, have a load of fun target range and exploding pumpkins and watermelons with one shot, or just being cocky at the range, this piece is for you. But no, seriously.